What's up bafflers? James Witter here. YouTube is changing. Some people don't like changes. I think they're good as long as they're justified. Bring back the star rating system. Before we get started don't forget to subscribe and ding so you don't miss a thing. We're growing each day. If you like hoodies techbaffle.shop. Let's get started. Here is the new YouTube homepage. A new look and features for YouTube home. Higher quality previews and an easy way to queue videos. Should we learn more? Yeah, let's go ahead and learn more. I don't know much about this new homepage, I've only just seen it. So, I'll put the link for this in the description if your uh, YouTube doesn't have a notification like that. New YouTube homepage, fresh look and new features on desktop and tablets. More easily find the next great video to watch. This new look includes longer video titles. Now that's interesting because when I upload videos, I always check to see if the title actually fits in. There's probably a more conventional way of doing this, but I, I don't know why, but I do this every single time. This doesn't actually change the page, so what I do is right click, press inspect, and I just edit this text here, so I go... And I just click out of that, and as you can see, that's actually not even taking up that much space. So I can add in a few more words like. But yeah, as you can. Basically, you can tell how much you're typing in, so you could get a bit carried away. And what it will do, it will cut off like that. It, it is quite funny editing people's video titles. It looks like you're changing them for real, but it's just on your computer size. I'm not actually changing people's titles. And as you can see, that's actually fitted pretty much all of that title in, except for the emoji, so I can just remove the emoji. I don't need that in anyway. So as you can see, that title fits in with the thumbnail perfectly. Now, this doesn't work on all thumbnails, mobile devices and that kind of thing probably display text slightly differently, but at least on desktop it'll look quite cool. Anyway, moving on, we have a bigger thumbnails, as you can see, big thumbnails. So yes, you can definitely see a lot more details on the thumbnails. Um, where are we? And higher resolution preview. So a preview is basically if you go over a video, you can kind of see a few frames from that video just to see what it's like. So you can just go over it like that and these previews will be higher resolution than they were previously, the higher quality, which is good because the actual box that they're in is bigger as well. As part of the new design, you'll notice a full page grid of suggested videos rather than rows of suggested videos by category. Yeah, so this is quite interesting. The the uh, whole home page pretty much fills out the whole layout now. I like this. So it starts off with recommended and you have all your recommended three rows of recommended and then you have latest YouTube posts which I don't know if they're supposed to be four posts or whether I just don't have a lot of YouTube posts. A bit strange. But anyway, we'll move on. Now, next we have this unknown category it just doesn't have anything it's no title which is kind of strange so these are all what did it to call it these are all suggested videos so yeah these are just loads and loads of suggested videos I don't know how good this actually is or not it, it does seem a little bit apologies my phone just vibrated it might have made a weird noise Um, it just seems a little bit uh, I don't know it's kind of there's another category of no title. I don't know, it's something a bit strange about it. Does it go on forever? Ah, oh, that's interesting. So, uh, uh, what do you call it? Lazy loading, that's it. So what it does, it loads a few things and then it loads a few more things. Because obviously, if it loaded all of these things from the homepage, it would take forever to load. So what it does is just load a few more things at a time. But it basically means that it's pretty much impossible not to find a video you want to watch because you'll be scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and eventually you will be finding something you do actually want to watch. There will still be some horizontal sections for breaking news, music mixes and more. So, yeah. Recognise your favourite creators with channel icons. When browsing on home, you'll see you'll now see channel icons below each video, making it easier to recognise your favourite creators and the content you love. So, ah, I didn't even notice that before. So yeah, you can see that all the channels have the actual graphics for their logos. That's, I like that, that's quite cool actually. Reminds me a little bit of um, Instagram. I don't know why it does, but it kind of reminds me of Instagram. I guess because you kind of have the little, photo, you have your little circular picture. So if you see any tech graphic videos, you can see this nice little 
lightningy thing. That's probably a good way to create a more interesting channel icon if you've just got like a default one like this thing here. Yeah, if yours just looks like a J or an A or something not very interesting, it's a good time to change your channel icon because obviously it's going to be attracting a lot more attention than it did before. Creators, we hope this helps you get more visibility for your channel on the homepage. Eh, I don't I don't know. I think the main problem with visibility, especially if you have a new YouTube channel, is because your videos don't get pushed out. So, customize what you want to watch next with your queue. If you're looking for a way to queue up the next video without interrupting what you're currently watching, try out the add to queue on desktop. You'll see the queue button on every video thumbnail, or you can select add to queue from the free dot menu. Okay, so say if I want to add this. Uh, so this is watch later, yes. And that, oh, so you just, you, it's right underneath watch later. So you've got watch later there, and then you've got add to queue. So it will add it into like a little video window. So if I add this one to my video queue as well. I don't know. I don't. I don't, uh, it's, I don't know. Close the player. What happens when you close it? It just disappears. So you have to have that video player on the screen to. I don't know. I, I'm not particularly bothered about that feature, but maybe for some people it might be quite good. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, so remove suggestions from channels you don't want to watch. So. Oh, this is oh, oh this, now this is a feature. Now this is a feature that I I've been wanting this feature for a long, long, long time. Not that I have a particular hatred for people's channels, but sometimes it just I don't know. It's stuff you just obviously don't want to watch, and it just clogs up your homepage. And I don't know what you want to fill your homepage with stuff you do want to watch. So. Yeah, that's good if you want to remove suggestions from channels you don't want to watch. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to try and select someone's channel that I don't actually want to watch, which is quite difficult, because they do a good job, to be fair. Let's say, for example, I don't want to see any more videos from The Sun. It's a UK newspaper, if you're not aware of it. Um, so how do you do it? So, in fewer steps, you can tell YouTube to stop suggesting videos from a particular channel. Just click on the freed up menu next to a video, and then don't recommend channel. Oh, this one here, and click. Don't recommend channel. You can also select not interested as well. I don't know if that was a feature before, but yeah, you can just. And then I won't receive any more recommendations from the sun. So, if you've made a mistake and you do actually want to, you want videos from that channel, then you can click undo, and then it goes back to normal. Coming soon. Okay, so this is a feature that's coming soon. Select topics. To refine your homepage and up next videos. Earlier this year, we added a new feature to the YouTube Android app that lets you select your favourite topics and customise your home feed with related videos. Now, I have that app, but I've not actually tried it, so I wouldn't be able to say anything about that. We'll be releasing it on desktop and tablets soon. That sounds like quite a good feature, though. Like, select your favourite topics, customise your home feed, because you basically you want things that are relevant. You want things that you actually want to watch comes up with a little animation with a before and then an after so as you can see it just fills out the home page a bit more especially if you have a nice big monitor it makes things a lot more I don't know no more wasted space so on the side it's all exactly the same and at the top it's all exactly the same it's only this bit in the middle that's actually changed thank you to everyone who provided feedback on the different designs during testing phases I didn't provide any feedback but okay based on the input we made dozens of improvements on the layout and fixed several technical issues, most notably with the thumbnail sizes on larger screens and devices. It just, that's just what I was saying on larger devices, makes better use of the screen. Continue to tell us what you think and what you'd like to see in the comments below, or the official feedback tool. So that's from Hazel at Team YouTube. Okay, so I think we've covered all this new homepage. So there you go, you can get your dark mode if you prefer dark mode. To be honest, I've got my windows in dark mode, so it makes more sense if I had mine in dark mode. I don't know why I haven't even considered that. So, thanks for watching. I'll put the link for YouTube in the description. <laughs> if you have any questions, let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe and ding so you don't miss a thing. When we reach 5k, something amazing is going to happen. If you like this video, rate it 5 stars. If not, give it 1. 
we upload every day. Don't forget to follow me at TechBaffle on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat. For the latest, head over to techbaffle.com. Thanks for watching and have a baffling day. It's baffling, isn't it?